Hello, hope you are doing good. I am your host Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a birthday photo slideshow video on Canva. Once you are on your Canva dashboard as you can see right here, all you'll need to do now is select videos from right below the search bar. Then from here, I would recommend that you select video here which would be 1920 by 1080 px but if you'd like to create a Facebook video or so on, you can select the different dimensions. But I would normally recommend that you select the 1920 by 1080 px. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on uploads. After selecting uploads, you are going to tap on upload files. And you are going to upload all of the photos that you would like to add and if you also want to add videos to the slideshow you can add them also after you have done this all you'll need to do now we could tap on elements or better yet we could tap on designs from the top left hand corner then from there you could select birthday or you could type in birthday then you could scroll down and you can see different templates that you can use but for this example, I will be showing you how to make one from scratch. So for example, I will go onto elements and let's say we're going to make the cover image. So the first thing we'll be doing is adding a picture of the person that is their birthday. So let's say for example, we're celebrating the birthday of a baby boy. So we're going to type in baby boy right here. Then from here, I'll tap on see all for photos. And I'm just going to be selecting a random photo. So let's say, for example, this one right here. All I'll need to do now is simply drag and place it. So you can see it right there. And then from there, you could set it as the background. So we could tap on set image as background. After you have done that, you can add text. So for example, we could tap on text right here. Then from here, you could simply drag, add a heading. And then you could type in happy birthday as you can see right here after you have done that you can change the text style if you want you can also change the text color and we can also add some effects so for example you could select the text then from there you could tap on effects and for example you could add a slight shadow so you could tap on shadow then you can scroll down top where you see the color box and you could change the shadow color. So let's say for example, we'd like to change it to blue. So you can see right there that the color has changed. As you can see right there, it now has a slight blue shadow. You can also tap on animate from the top menu option. And for example, you can see the different animations right there. So you can see them right there. You can select whichever animation you would like to use as there are numerous options that you can choose from. For this example, I will be using the typewriter animation. Then after doing that, we are going to be adding some balloons. So we are going to tap on elements once more. And from here, you could type in balloons. So let's do that. After you have done that, all you'll need to do right where you see graphics, you could tap right there, see all. Then we want to scroll down and let's say, for example, we would like to add these four, these balloons right here. All you'll need to do is drag and place them. After doing that, you're going to tap on animate from the top menu option. So you're going to select the box, then you're going to tap on animate. Let me do that real quick. So you'll tap on animate right here. Then you can choose any one of these animation options as you can see right here. Or you could tap on create an animation. Then for example, let's say we would like the balloons to go right to the top. We could simply pull it to the top as you can see right there. Then we can smooth it out. So you can see right there, we have now added a balloon floating up. All you'll need to do now, you could tap on add page then from there you could go over to uploads and you can add other images now let's say for example you would like to add more than one image to a page all you'll need to do is tap on elements 
Then from here, you're going to type in grid. So let's do that real quick. After typing in grid, you can tap on see all where you see grids. And then depending on the amount of images that you would like to add, let's say for example, we would like to add three images to a page. We can select any one of these grid options. Then for example, we can add the images. Let's say I were to go back. So let's say I were to go back right here and select some random images. And you can simply pull and place your images right there. So all you need to do is pull and place them in the grid as you can see right there. And then you can tap on add page once more. After tapping on add page from here, you can continue adding more photos or you can choose to add a video if you want. Or for example, if you would like to add a photo with animation, you can also do that. Now to add audio to your clipping or to your slideshow, all you'll need to do is tap on uploads once more from the left hand menu option. Then you would tap on audio and from there you could tap on upload file and you could upload an audio that you would like to use. Or you can select elements from the top left hand corner. Then from there you could type in birthday and you can select birthday music. Then you'll tap on the menu option at the top and you're going to select audio. After doing that, you can see numerous audio tracks that you can use. All you'll need to do is tap on the audio track that you would like to use. But before doing that, you want to ensure that your cursor is placed at the front part of the video. After you have done that, you can move the audio track as you can see right there. And you can see it right here. So we'll simply move the audio track. And I have added it twice, so I'm going to delete one of them. So I'll tap on the three dots right there, tap on delete track, and then you can see it right there. Now, if you'd like to add some form of transition in between, all you'll need to do is right in between each page, you'll simply tap right where you see add transition. Then from there, you can choose the transition style that you would like to use. You can see there are numerous options that you can choose from. So we can add a transition style right there. Now, if we were to play it, so you can see an example of how it looks. This is how it looks, as you can see right there. Now, once it is there liking, you'll simply tap on share in the top right hand corner, then scroll down, tap on download, and you're going to tap on download, and that's it.